Hey, good afternoon, everyone. It's Corey. Long time no see on a non live stream video. It's been a while since I've recorded any video that wasn't a live stream. Um, I'm very sorry for that. Uh, just live streams. I don't have to edit them. And uh, basically that has been suiting my lifestyle for almost two years now. Um, but I, I do try to film some non live stream videos for you guys. Anyways, uh, today we're going to be doing a walking video. If you are watching the premiere right now, please give it a thumbs up, say hi in the live chat. And uh, yeah, so where are we today, guys? We are underneath actually the Musashino line um, train tracks right above me. And this is actually connecting right over to Shimatsudo station. So yes, we are in Matsudo. We are not in Tokyo today. We are in Chiba prefecture, uh, not too far from my house. And uh, today, guys, we are going to be doing a walk around the forest 21st century park i think that's the name in english it translates to forest 21st century park so yeah we've been here before on live streams we came here in the fall we saw beautiful uh, orange and red leaves uh, we've also been here in the spring um, i think twice and uh, we've seen sakura and other really amazing flowers so we are here in 2022 and I'm just trying to get back into filming non live stream videos for you guys showing Japan as it really is. Let's go. All right. You can see the, the kind of mountain. I don't know. I wouldn't call it a mountain. Maybe it's just a really big hill. But uh, this is the forest 21st century park. Sounds weird. I feel like I want to call it the 21st century forest park. But uh, that is how it's listed. And uh, yeah, so it's a very beautiful day. It's April 6th and uh, we are kind of right at the very end of the cherry blossom season. As you can actually see, there's uh, quite a lot of sakura blossoms, uh, the petals, on the ground. So unfortunately, quite a lot of these trees um, lost their petals. So this is a sakura tree right here. Um, it's very hard to see, but there are some petals on it. And mostly now it's green leaves. So uh, yeah, it rained all day Sunday and all day Monday, uh, which is why I canceled my live stream on Monday. It was just downpouring all day, all night, and it was really windy. So uh, hopefully we can still see some survivors as we enter this park. And this is a map of the place right here. Yeah, it's 21st century forest. And uh, it's pretty big. I think it's like a fairly big park. Um, maybe some people might consider this like a medium sized park, but I think it's pretty large. Uh, here we can hear the Musashino line passing overhead. But yeah, it's, uh, it's April 6th. It's uh, the middle of the week. It's uh, just before lunchtime. It's like nobody here, which is great. Like, I don't see... Okay, I see a few people in the distance walking. But yeah, as we walk around, we'll probably, you know, come across some people. But yeah, this is uh, basically going to be a nature walking video in a park. If you guys are down for that, leave some comments. And uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Hit thumbs up. Leave any questions as well. I love uh, seeing what you guys want to know about. I, I try to respond as much as possible. But let's go. I can see some sakura still kind of in bloom. The petals are holding on for dear life. And right here to the left is actually uh, plum blossoms, the ume. But their, their uh, season is pretty much over. That was back in uh, February. February and March was like the peak time for these trees here. So yeah, they're all bare now. But I do see some remnants of Sakura right over here. Let's go take a look. I don't know if you can hear that, but there's just like a ton of crows in those trees just cawing away.
Looks like they planted a bunch of flowers here for the spring. Yeah, those crows are saying, it's lunchtime, it's lunchtime. Now this is a very nice area. Um, it, it took me about 15, 20 minutes to walk here from my house. So it's actually very, very close. By bicycle, it's really fast. But here we can see some remnants. But most of the tree has uh, lost its petals. Good place to come and have lunch. There's all these picnic tables. Very few people here. On the weekends, this place does get a little bit crowded, uh, especially with children and stuff. And, you know, they can come around here with little nets and catch insects and look in these little streams for who knows. Oh, there's a duck. Hello, duck. Hi. Sorry. Sorry to bother you. But yeah, so it's a pretty good place to come to see some some nature. You can hear the sounds of that natural train behind me. It is a little bit windy today, so if there is any wind noise, I do apologize. I am using my wireless mic that does have a wind sock on it, so hopefully that helps reduce the, the sound of the wind. Uh, this is a little tea house here, but this thing has been closed forever uh, since during the pandemic. And even right now, they're closed. But yeah, nice place to buy a drink or coffee or something and come outside. So what I'm going to actually do here is walk up into the forest. So we're going to get some forest uh, walking here. I got to backtrack just a slight bit though to get to the trail. Yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, I do apologize for not filming stuff <laughs> for a very long time. It's just, you know, YouTube burnout is real. Filming and editing, like when you, you know, when you film something and then you, you edit, like especially like highly edited videos and blogs, travel things and, you know, it takes you know, 40, 60, 80 hours to edit a video and you barely get any money in return. Um, re if you do that over and over and over, it really does burn you out. It's like, what am I doing this for? I'm not making any money. Uh, of course, I'm making content for people to enjoy, which is obviously the great part about it. But um, yeah, we need a uh, we need some kind of a reward, and I just felt burnt out, so I do apologize for that. This is all new growth on this uh, Japanese maple tree, the momiji. Very young leaves. And, uh, yeah. Oh god, is that a mosquito? Better not be. Luckily, we're still early for uh, murder hornet season. Yeah, murder hornet season. I am not looking forward to that, guys. You come to beautiful places like this and you try to enjoy it and a murder hornet decides to fly by your face. It's not fun. <laughs> oh. There's some, uh, I think these are sequoia, the meta sequoia trees. 
the very tall vertical ones. Yeah, I haven't been here in a while. This path actually used to be just straight up dirt. And it looks like they put a bunch of stones here for traction and whatnot. If you remember my live streams, please leave a comment. Because, uh, yeah, I did come here during a live stream. We ate some food, walked around. It was a pretty fun stream. Yeah, so there is, uh, of course, wildlife here because it is, you know, a forest. And uh, what kind of wildlife can we get here? Uh, of course, many types of birds. There are snakes. Japan does have snakes. Um, Mamushi is the, the poisonous snake, most common in Japan. Kind of found in mountainous areas. I saw a sign somewhere that was like warning about Mamushi, so. You never know. Uh, what is this? This is like some Blair Witch stuff right here. Yeah, now I feel like I'm in Blair Witch. Let me uh, walk this wooden pathway. I guess if you wanted, you could go there and have like a pretty cool picnic in the middle of the forest. <laughs> uh, either I'm in Blair Witch or I'm in Wicker Man and I've become Nicolas Cage. Yeah, this was not here before. I guess they uh, wanted to get creative. And just make some stuff. Is this supposed to be like a dragon? It's got like a winding body and it looks like a head. I think it's supposed to be a dragon. Uh, that other one over there looked like some kind of deer or something with an antler on it. The one that we saw like over there. Not sure what these other ones are supposed to be, but yeah. Um, this site actually has some prehistoric kind of uh, settlement, like remnants here, I believe. And so um, they have these kind of, uh, what do you call it, like uh, remade Jomon period uh, huts that we'll, we'll come across as we come up over here. Yeah, so the Jomon period is like prehistoric times. It's like before human records, um, early, early humans, you know, as they spread across the world and Japan was connected to uh, mainland China back then. And so humans were able to come into Japan. So yeah, I don't know exactly how many years, but it's like tens of thousands of years um, old. There's actually a sign that warns you about the murder hornets. The Suzumebachi. Yeah, so it's... They know. <laughs> they know that there's a lot of Suzumebachi with nests and stuff around here. Such a nice day. I actually came out here with a windbreaker and I had to take it off. 
and uh, also rolled up my sleeves. It's just really hot. I think this is a t-shirt weather. Coming out here in a flannel shirt is not a good idea. Yeah, so right over here is uh, this kind of mock Jomon period village with I believe two or three different huts. Uh, they covered it with a silver tarp, so now it looks more like a UFO, but uh, before, maybe this one has some damage or like water leaking or something, so that's why they did that. But you can see this other one doesn't have that at all. And so this is uh, this kind of straw material. Yeah, so you used to be able to go into these and uh, like this one I remember the last time I came here last year at some point uh, I went inside uh, it wasn't during a live stream and uh, there was a woman in there and she kind of was telling us like how they live and sleep and stuff and uh, you know smoke smoke food to preserve it um, and use the fire smoke to like kind of keep insects out and yeah, it was pretty cool to be in there, but uh, she actually had a real fire in there. So it was like super smoky. And uh, when you left, you just smelled like you were in a campfire, um, like standing in the smoke of a campfire. So yeah, it looks like uh, maybe the season right now, they're just not showing people the interiors, but it's pretty neat. So this is the Jomon Forest, we're calling it. I got some dudes just sitting here. They're probably looking at me holding this camera, walking around like, oh, who's this guy? Yeah, there's a, a game here. It's kind of like ring toss. You throw these wooden rings here made from vine it looks like tied together it's kind of fun game I guess yeah, so a long time ago maybe a year ago two years ago we sat on that very same table and streamed our lunch we ate menchi katsu if I remember correctly or koroke or something like that but yeah so this kind of loops back down this way and we're actually on the ridge of that big hill that we saw at the beginning. So if I look down. It's kind of a steep hill. Might be fun to roll down. Might injure ourselves, but hey. It'll be worth it. Yeah, I love this bark. Look at this. So some of you might be wondering, why do they call this like 21st, what is it, F Forest 21st Century Park? Um, so uh, I think what they're trying to do is promote like environmental awareness, you know, about uh, nature and preserving nature and um, that kind of stuff, being green, using green energy, trying to be carbon neutral. Uh, so on the park grounds, there's actually kind of like a convention center. Uh, we'll probably see it towards the end of the video. And they have some kind of like environmental science, like education stuff going on in there for children and the local citizens. And, uh, you know, they hold different events there. And uh, yeah, so um, yeah, that's basically it. So they're trying to like look, look to the future, preserve nature and be one with the greenery. which of course we uh, all should be doing, and we do, or at least I do.
Is that a woodpecker? I hear a woodpecker. Where is it? Oh, it's not a woodpecker, but it, uh, um, it's going to be really hard to see because I can't zoom in. There's a tiny bird. I can see his body. Hopefully I can zoom in on it post-edit, uh, in post. And he's uh, bashing his beak against the branch. I guess he's looking for insects and stuff underneath the, the bark. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it, it didn't look like a woodpecker in like North America, you know, with the red heads and they're like really huge, drilling into the side of your house. It wasn't like that. Oh, there's a little pigeon right there. Yeah, the temperature and the air is really nice here. some clean air guys and I like that they have a bench put here kind of in the middle of the pathway if you want to just sit and kind of stare at the hillside here yeah all right let's continue Gonna try to go a little bit faster. Um, try to show more of the park before this camera battery dies. I thought he was speaking Korean at first. Maybe it's, is it Russian? I don't know. Anyways, we're back here. So they do have a big uh, lake here and lots of flowers. It's very colorful. Looks very nice. Kind of have it on both sides. Now, can you see that like bridge looking thing? That's actually a, a major road that goes directly through the middle of the park. So we're on the uh, west side of the park. So we'll, we'll kind of loop around over here and then come back and go towards the east side. So the east side is where the convention center is. And uh, right here in front of me is kind of a one of the education centers that I was talking about, it's kind of geared towards children. So there's like cute characters and, you know, they're trying to teach kids about nature and the different types of wildlife that live here and how seeds, you know, sprout plants and stuff. So it's kind of cool. And they do have kind of an acorn character as their mascot. Straight ahead is uh, kind of like a cafe with outdoor seating. I think on a live stream we came here and I, I ate something, if I, if I recall correctly. Yeah, what a nice day. Yeah, they have ramen and ice cream and coffee and udon noodles and soba noodles. Yeah, I wanted to wrap around this side of the park because I know that there's a sakura over here. And hopefully, uh, it looks like there's still some intact after all the rain 
for the last like 48 hours. Pedals on the ground. So people walk on this path. Uh, I'm gonna actually go off-road and kind of walk over behind in the trees. This tree is still uh, pretty full. Surprised, it must have bloomed late. But there's someone, uh, the little picnic mat. There's a few people out here having hanami, lunch hanami, I guess. Now I know some people might ask, oh, I thought hanami is illegal in Japan. There, there's no illegal. Uh, it's just recommended not to do it, and especially in large groups. But now that the state of emergency is actually over, um, you can pretty much do whatever you want. I mean, people were doing whatever they wanted anyways. Uh, just now there's no official state of emergency. So um, they do still have a barrier set up in like some of the bigger, more famous parks like Wano Park or uh, elsewhere. They have green barriers to prevent people from setting up their picnic mats and stuff. But of course, Japanese love their hanami. They love picnicking underneath the sakura, eating, drinking, having a good time, enjoying spring. So yeah. Let me come down here towards the water's edge. see some uh, some petals sakura petals gathered here yeah I came here two years ago and it was like peak bloom season like the peak bloom time and uh, it was amazing Fortunately, I didn't film it, but it was just, you know, kind of my own private thing. Walked over here and checked it out. Yeah, this one is like, it looks like less than 20% of the petals are still left on this tree. Yeah, do you guys visit any parks similar to this, like in your area? I'm always curious, like, what do people do to get outside? Like, especially those who live in, like, the city or something like that, you know, where it's kind of hard to get to nature unless you have a car or something. Like, how do you guys enjoy trees and fresh air and stuff? Let me know in the comments. Uh, an exit out this way to my left but wow it's like hmm I'm surprised these these sakura must have started blooming pretty late to have survived all that rain and wind recently there's like nobody over here too you could easily just set up a little picnic mat Look at that. That's just really nice. Oh, I'm glad. Let 
many petals. Oh, there's some uh, turtles or something. Tortoise? Tortoise and a turtle? It looks like both, uh, but they're just sunbathing next to each other. Yeah. Nature. Lots of nature. Oh, that's gorgeous. So yeah, let's make our way towards uh, the east side of the park. Yeah, so um, what else can I talk about just real quick? I know I probably don't have to talk about anything. But uh, you guys know me, I, I do walk and talking, walking and talking. Uh, we do walking videos with commentary. That is my bread and butter of this channel. So um, I kind of was trying to come up with a new schedule to make more videos. So it would be like one live stream and one non live stream video uh, per week. So I was figuring, uh, you know, filming on a on a Wednesday or something and then premiering it live like a live stream on a Thursdays at the same time that I usually do my live streams so you know it's always the same time people don't ever get anything confused but it would just be on a Thursday like Thursday for me Wednesday evening for most of North America um, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I'll, uh, I'll announce it and try to make some graphics, infographics or whatever, so people can start seeing that and know to expect it. But yeah, I just, I feel bad for not filming it for such a long time. So we're gonna try to make it happen, guys. You know, if I'm trying to hit 100,000 subscribers this year, I need to be more consistent and just produce more content. I can't just rely on live streams. It's, uh, the growth is too slow. I only gain a couple hundred subscribers a month, maybe, maybe 500 at most or something like that recently. So yeah, we gotta step it up, step up our game. And of course, uh, I will definitely be trying to do store tour videos as well so but this one just some nature I just needed to get back into the groove of filming I try to remember how to use this camera <laughs> and uh, yeah oh the, the petals are like blowing in the wind can we see that oh it's all it's coming directly at me So this one's really nice. You can see the petals falling. Ah, so pretty. Uh, so this is, uh, it looks like this was, what does this say? It says, the 30th anniversary of the Sister City affiliation. This was from 2001, Mayor of White Horse City. So if you guys don't know, um, Matsudo's Sister City is actually White Horse, which um, I believe is kind of like a small city located in Melbourne, Australia. 
if I remember correctly, it, either it's next to Melbourne or it's like in Wel Melbourne. Like it's like a city and then it has like another city in the city, something like that. If you guys know more about it, let me know in the comments. But that is Matsudo's sister city. And that is why all the manhole covers have uh, koalas on them. Yeah, so hopefully maybe I can show you one as we uh, venture around. I don't know if they're going to have those manhole covers like in the park itself, but um, they do out on the city streets. So yeah, that's kind of neat. 2001, huh? I guess, I guess for the 21st century, Maybe that's when this park opened. I, I really didn't look up anything about this park, like the history of it, when was it made, and etc. I just, I've been here many times, so whatever I've said on stream, uh, on this video so far, uh, is just from experience. Yeah, I almost said stream. I'm just so used to live streaming. So yeah, let's go over that way. Let's go west. Or sorry, east. God, I've got to get my bearings together here. like green on these trees like just all winter with no leaves and stuff you guys know what I'm talking about it's just it feels nice it's good to see this um, I didn't mention the temperature but it's supposed to be up to like 18 or 19 degrees Celsius this afternoon uh, the peak is around 18 or 19 degrees Celsius the wind is actually just nice and cool it just feels really great um, so it is officially spring, yeah. And uh, also, if you didn't know, April 1st is actually the beginning of, like, kind of the year for uh, Japan. So it's the beginning of the fiscal year and also the school year for all schools, elementary, middle school and high school, universities. Uh, they are all going back to school this week. So yeah, there's like the, the local high school. Um, I think today was their first day near my house. And so they just go and they have like the opening ceremony and that's it. And then they can leave. There, there's like no classes. Um, so yeah, when I was walking over here, it was around 11.30 a.m. And uh, I saw a lot of just like high school students in uniform getting out of school. Yeah, so little stream here that kids can play in there's a park straight ahead Let's see they've got all kinds of stuff for children to climb on and play on it's a big play area basically we'll kind of do like a quick loop through here just to show it. It's pretty neat, I think. Yeah, so we got people here with tents and stuff. A lot of strollers and children. I see people blowing bubbles. Uh, this is kind of cool, huh? It's like a rope teepee kind of a cone shaped thing. You can climb in and around it.
pretty neat stuff here. Some big uh, kind of grass mounds here. I'm gonna go this way. Yeah, it looks like fun, huh? There's a big sand pit right here. That looks fun. Did you guys ever play in like the sandboxes and stuff when you were a kid? I remember specifically like first grade or second grade playing in sandboxes at the school back in Yokosuka. And we had, uh, me and my friends had a bunch of battle beasts. If you guys remember battle beasts, definitely give the video a thumbs up. But uh, yeah, they used to be these little animal kind of like like cyborg animal figurines and then they had a, a square patch on their chest that was like uh, kind of temperature sensitive so you couldn't see what their symbol was but when you put your thumb on it your body heat made it appear like the logo and some were like fire some were ice or lightning water it was kind of cool oh can I make it across here? Uh, I have to take this route. Yeah, I don't think I could have leaped that far from the other place. I would have ended up stomping in the mud. Yeah, look at that. They're enjoying that picnic. There's like nobody else in this entire field. Or I take that back. There's a tent in the distance. But it looks like they're kind of not eating. Those four girls. Yeah, they look like high school students. Uh, they're having lunch. So there is um, there's a high school and a middle school very close to here. Oh, it's a babbling brook. Nice. I like this little pathway with the boulders and stuff. So, um, if I continue around, there's actually a path that goes around the entire perimeter of this huge field. So I'm going to kind of avoid that. There's really nothing to show you over there that I haven't shown you elsewhere so far. But, uh, Right here, I, I like these kinds of stuff, uh, these kinds of things with the water. We've got trees and yeah, it's just nice. Yeah, so the west side is not as big as the east side, but it's still still pretty cool there's more stuff like more space and more things to do over here on this side for the children uh, here's some public restrooms and so as I head out this way uh, it's actually going towards that convention center plus the exit of the park so yeah, we'll pretty much uh, wrap this up soon. We've been going for almost 45 minutes, wow. It's a fairly big park. Yeah, so if you wanted, uh, they do have some vending machines here, including ice cream. Two ice cream machines. Let's just look at them just since we're here. Show you guys some ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, hell yeah. Oot, oot. Uh, there's custard pudding, yeah, just a whole variety of stuff, cookies and cream, there's uh, raisin butter crunch, wow, choco chip, really good stuff. Uh, over here they've got more of the monaka stuff, so if you guys don't know what monaka is, it's a kind of Japanese ice cream style where they've got the, the wafer 
shape here and it's filled with cream uh, ice cream so yeah they've got a bunch of different stuff here yeah that's pretty cool uh if you don't know what this is either um i should point out coolish is basically like like a frozen smoothie kind of a thing and it's inside of this kind of squeeze gel pack thing so you just squeeze it out and you suck on it and um, yeah it's kind of cool and of course uh, coca-cola vending machine it's got the standard stuff owned by coca-cola company uh, we've got some kids climbing a tree kids looking up here this uh, the statue all right let's uh, let's head up this way wrap up the video yeah I remember coming here like two years ago on a live stream and uh, uh, the signal was like not good in this area and it uh, you know of course my streams are not in 4k they're all 1080p so at that time it was just like buffering and low resolution it's like not good so hopefully you guys can enjoy this uh, in 4k Lovely bird sound, huh? And there's a pretty strong breeze through this corridor. This uh, sculpture here in the middle looks like a jet turbine. So this is called a uh, assimilated view. <laughs> Assimilate. I guess the Borgs built this, huh? That's why it looks all high-tech. Yeah, so um, up there, that big building, that's the convention kind of hall thing that I was talking about. Uh, let's see, so this is a Matsudo Museum. It's kind of like a tunnel museum, I guess. Or is there an actual museum? I don't know. Uh, Morino Prologue. It's a forest prologue. Hmm. So it looks like just some uh, stone etching art, some iron art here. Um, okay, and some things about the the park, paper crafts and stuff. Over here, what is this? Some some photos of the park itself. It's kind of neat. And then uh, over here on the other side, I saw. I guess this is maybe related to the Jomon stuff. Is that the kind of clothing they wore? I don't know. Yeah, more pictures of a. Uh, the hall actually so that convention center um there is also like a, a performance hall they do concerts and stuff so you can see the multi-level balcony and then here's like a grand piano on a stage so yeah, that's also in that building that's up above here um more photos of basically the park 
um, yeah, all, all four of those have actually just photographs. Like someone took with like a, you know, digital camera and printed it. Uh, oh, this is made from a stone on the wall, kind of stone relief thing of a big tree. All right, let's head out of here. Yeah, and there's uh, the big hall right there. Concert hall, convention center. I've never seen it open. I've never seen people like walking around inside of it or lined up outside of it ever uh, in the three years that I've lived here. Yeah, speaking of three years, today's April 6th. I came here April 10th in 2019, so uh, that's when I returned to Japan after 20 years of not living in Japan. Uh, I left when I was 37, uh, sorry, 17. It came back when I was 37. So uh, yeah, now I'm 40. Old, I'm old guys. Boomer status officially. But uh, ah, it's a great day. It is beautiful. And uh, I just wanna say thank you guys for watching this. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you're watching this with the premiere and um, you know, I hope you guys are staying safe, wearing masks, getting vaccinated, all that good stuff that I always try to promote. And, um, you know, if you want to help support the channel, we do have uh, the join button near the subscribe button on my channel. You can join the Moist fam, get some uh, behind the scene photos, uh, mobile wallpapers, um, you know, throw a dollar or something towards me. Uh, helps me, you know, buy stuff on the, uh, at the vending machines during live streams. Uh, helps me take the train out towards uh, Tokyo or wherever. Um, and just, you know, it helps support the channel a lot. And it really means a lot to me. So if you guys are down for that, feel free to click that link. Um, if not, it's all good. But uh, anyways, I'm going to wrap up the video here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in my Discord. Much love to the Moist fam. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye.